something strange is happening on the internet computer. Over the past eight days, developers, hobbyists, and complete newcomers have been launching dApps, real ones in just hours. Not prototypes, not screenshots, actual working apps ranging from live streaming platforms and forecasting tools to meme generators and border patrol simulators. And the twist, many of these people have never written production card before. This is Ledger Life and today we are unpacking what's unfolded on day 8 of the Caffeine AI Alpha rollout. If you find this coverage useful or just want to help keep the decentralized news flowing, there is a donation wallet address in the description. Every ICP counts. Now back to what's brewing. Let's talk about what day 8 delivered. The most unexpected build of the day. Show me your papers built by Alpha Warden. It's a border control themed game where you play an officer at a checkpoint. You are given documents, make snap decisions and race against a ticking clock. Sounds like a simple concept, but here is the kicker. Alpha Warden had never launched anything on chain before. Zero coding background, just an idea, a prompt and four hours. That's how he built the whole thing. He credits Caffeine's rollback feature for giving him freedom to experiment. Instead of worrying about breaking the app, he just tried things. Iterated, asked the AI to fix gaps. It wasn't bug free, but it worked and that alone has pushed him to already start planning a SQL. Caffeine isn't holding users' hands through templates or drag and drop blocks. It's giving them the power to describe logic interface structure and behaviors and then revise, refactor and build out through conversation. The assistant responds, tests run and people learn on the go. Another name becoming a bit of a regular on the Caffeine leaderboard is Jason Mugg. Known for his work on World Age, he's now using Caffeine like an idea journal. Day 8 saw several projects from him, including World Aid Clubhouse. It's an on-chain community hub inspired by Patreon. It features gated content, media hosting, and fan engagement tools. It's live and forkable. He also released Muggsy's Meme Machine. It's a no-fuss meme tool that lets users drop an image, add text, and mint the result. Add in his zombie apocalypse now game where players wander a pixel city and fight off zombies. And you have got a week's worth of creative output built entirely through prompt-fed collaboration with an AI interface. What's notable here is in the complexity of the apps. It's the volume and functionality. They do what they say on the tin. And the barrier to entry for others to remix or extend them is almost zero. Over in the streaming space, ICP Degen X has been quietly testing the platform's limits with Web3 Live. This is a live streaming tool that supports both live and simulated events and it came together within a few build sessions using Caffeine. You can plug in your stream URL, share a link and host viewers. Future features like chat feeds, creator dashboards and proof of attendance tokens are already in the works. It's already in use. A dedicated stream is up for Meta Owl, the decentralized radio station on the internet computer known for its Jenner blending playlist. That level of integration from build to usage took less than a day. Dejan X says it felt like co-writing a play with a highly responsive actor. Sometimes it got the scene right instantly, other times it took a few rehearsals. But again, the entire process took hours. That kind of turnaround used to be unthinkable in on-chain environments. And now let's shift continents because one of Day 8's most locally grounded projects came from ICP Insider who built Showcast. It's a forecast market app with a focus on Nigeria. The initial version lets users make ICP price predictions. Soon it will expand to cover CKBTC, CKUSDT and eventually a Naira pegged token. Why Caffeine? Insider says it was about time. He had looked at other front-end frameworks but found them slow and fiddly. Caffeine let him sketch the logic, receive code, test UX and go again, it's fast. He used the third session to simplify the layout and reduce clutter, ending up with a clean, usable prediction app. Surecast already has input fields, a prediction display and hooks for token pools. 
it's early stage but it works and more importantly it's live and being built from within the ecosystem for a local use case so what are we seeing here speed yes functionality absolutely but the real story of day eight is access these creators aren't coming from deep tech backgrounds some are artists some are community leads some are just curious people with an idea and a willingness to test and they are making apps that do real things caffeine lowers the friction but it doesn't remove the thinking you still have to design logic spot bugs and craft prompts with intent but the time it takes to go from idea to launch is shrinking that's changing the game you no longer need a team you don't need weeks you just need an idea and the nerve to ask the machine to help what's more none of this feels logged in you can fork someone else app you can ask caffeine to refactor sections you can roll back if something breaks it's an iterative playground and the results are starting to speak for themselves one day it's a meme tool the next a border game then a live stream hub then a focused market Day 8 shows that the types of apps being made are expanding just as quickly as the people building them. So if you have ever thought, I have got an idea but I am not a dev, maybe that doesn't matter anymore. Caffeine is still alpha, still rough in parts, but it's already showing what happens when you let people build at the speed of thought. Before we wrap in, we have got an update on Ledger launch, the chap style project currently in progress. A few issues have come up during development, some build errors, prompt failures, image uploads not working, and session timeouts. These have already been flagged to the caffeine team under the project ID, and we are hoping for some fixes soon to keep things moving smoothly. But it's all shaping out well, and we are surely excited about it all. That's all from us for now. If you want to support independent reporting on these open tools, we have dropped our donation wallet in the description. Also, check out the latest Ledger letter. It's out now and the link is there too. See you next time.